cycle one, week 15, new grammar. And our geography, we're back to Israel. We're going to be in this box here in the Middle East. And Israel is our first um, nation. And then we have the Gaza Strip. Looks like a, a strip of a Band-Aid. We have the Sinai Peninsula, which is like, like a slice of pizza. It's been eaten on the top right corner. We have Cairo and Egypt, the city there next to the Nile River Delta. And we have the Suez Canal, that little area there. Now, continuing with science is almost like a uh, geography where it's going to be what, are, what is each continent's highest mountain. And we are using the song, uh, Go Tell on the Mountain. So it goes like this. What is each continent's highest mountain? Everest in Asia, Aconcagua in South America, Denali in North America, Kilimanjaro in Africa, El Bruce in Europe, Kosciusko in Australia, Vincent Massif in Antarctica, each continent's highest mountain. Our history sentences tell me about uh, Prince Henry of Portugal. So we will do the sign for 14, and then the sign for P, the letter P, the letter H, the letter P again for Portugal, the sign for founded, school, the sign for school, and navigation that we use in our other timeline. And then we'll use the sign for work, the sign for work, and the sign for advanced. Yeah, and exploration, we'll make it European. E, European exploration and trade. And that's pretty much it, and we'll have for the sign including. So here goes, tell me about Prince Henry of Portugal. In the 1400s, Prince Henry of Portugal founded a school of navigation. His work advanced European exploration and trade, including the slave trade, including the slave trade. Very good, very good. So timeline, we'll do the sign for Japan. Show us Japan, it looks like a little banana. That's a big banana, make a small banana. Yeah, but banana. Japan's isolation, I'll cover his eyes. And a J and a P for Jamestown and Plymouth Colony was founded, the sign for founded. And then grab his beard for the age of enlightenment, age of, turn off the light bulb, enlightenment. Circus 1650, yeah, turn it on. 1650, the circa 1800. Then we'll do an H and a B for Hudson's Bay Company, go into the bay. First great awakening, classical period, to play his violin period of the arts. And then number seven, and years war. So here we go. Japan's isolation, Jamestown and Plymouth Colony founded, age of enlightenment, circa 1650 to circa 1800, Hudson's Bay Company, first great awakening, classical period of the arts, the Seven Years' War. Very good. All right, a memory tool I try to use for Latin as we go through it again the second time around. For first declensions, the first letter of the alphabet is A, and the letter A makes the sound uh. So it's it's uh, I, I, I um, ah, uh, uh, I, I, I um, ah, uh, uh, I, I am a uh, singular first declensions. I arm isasis. I arm isasis. I arm isasis. Plural first declensions. And then for our helping verbs song, just add the new helping verbs of this week. Do does this. Ready? Ba 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 ba. A helping verb helps another verb. Assert action, being or existence. A helping verb helps another verb. Assert action, being or existence. Helping verbs 
do does did and then we'll go throughout the next few weeks and continue that and i think last but not least we come to our math song and we this week is uh 10 millimeters equals one centimeter 100 centimeters equals one meter and 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. And uh, but we'll pick up this week with 5,280 feet just to help us on. So 5,280 feet equals one mile. Five eighths of a mile equals one kilometer. Ten millimeters equals one centimeter. One hundred centimeters equals one meter. One thousand meters equals kilometer. All right, let's see if we can do the whole song. Ready? Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup. Two cups equals one pint. Two pints equals one quart. Four quarts equals one gallon. 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. 12 inches equals one foot. 5,280 feet equals one mile. 5 eighths of a mile equals one kilometer. 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. 100 centimeters equals a meter. 1,000 meters equals kilometer. You did a great job, young man. I'm proud of you. And uh, we'll see you next time.